Lydia asks, Ksenia Evgenievna, please answer the questions that arose while I was working on the seminar, The Power of a Bloodline. The first question, if branches of a family live in two different countries, but maintain communication, will the Regina of the kin be one for all branches or different in each country? Two hundred years ago my ancestors moved to Russia, and during the crisis of the 90s most of them emigrated to Germany. Well, if the blood is the same and the surname is the same, then the Regina will most likely be the same for everyone. If you do not have a common surname, if it has been changed according to the patriarchal system, where it is customary to take the husband's surname, then the Reginas will most likely be different as well. Because every bloodline tries to place its own Regina, unless it's a very old pagan or royal family. They really don't care about patriarchy and matriarchy, they have one founder and foundress of the bloodline and one Regina for all branches and lines. And the second question on this topic, also from Lydia, for almost a month I have been going deep down to the founder of the bloodline. He is very very ancient. I have managed to contact him through my ancestors who lived 200 years ago. He gives me specific information, but I don't understand his language, which consists of signs and symbols. Could you give me some advice on how to establish such contact? My only advice to you is to establish this contact intuitively and to write down the signs and symbols he shows you at least in the automatic writing system. There is a good chance that you will be able to recognize them, you may see these symbols on rune stones, or you may find them on some other artifacts. They will definitely fall into your field of vision. Because these symbols would cause you to go into resonance. And we have just discussed with a previous colleague how this happens. If you are willing to go into resonance through these symbols, then, by the principle of similarity, you will simply be attracted to the elements that carry the same symbols that your founder passed on to you. The next question. In the process of going down to the founder, I was brought to a round, flat stone in the ground with a symbolic representation that I could not clearly discern. On Mabin this stone shifted and I went even deeper. The stone began to show the appearance of a cross. Do I understand correctly that this is how Christianity imposed its imprint on my bloodline? Can such a thing block ancestral powers, such as ancestral magic? Yes, they can. You are right and most probably this is your case. I have found myself in the dead space of the bloodline, I do not have any contact with my relatives at the present time. Today, I had a dream in which I was holding in my hand a dental bridge made out of four of my extracted teeth. One tooth was rotten the other was dead. The two on either side were healthy, but they were not human teeth, they were huge fangs. At the same time, in my dream I got all my own teeth healthy and new. I believe it was a good dream. Can I assume that I have made contact with the founder even though I belong to the dead space? The contact was made and it was made perfectly. The whole thing is that, judging from all these symptoms you've described, there have been a number of unblessed marriages in your lineage. Some of your ancestors either married without the blessing or married members of disgraced, cursed families, which the founder certainly did not approve of. The children born of these marriages naturally took upon themselves the seals of such an unblessing, and perhaps even a spoilage or a curse imposed by other family members. Such things happened, and they happened quite often. The fact that these damaged teeth fell out in your dream, while the healthy fangs remained, is just an indication that your founder has removed these dead, diseased branches from your bloodline, from your mind, and perhaps even from your DNA. And from now on, you would be honored to know that you belong to the dead space. The fact that you are part of its very core would be a good thing for you.